Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another success. We are, man, we are on the penultimate episode before the finale of season three. And uh, last episode of birthday celebrations, almost everybody is not in a great headspace. A couple people are, but Shiv feels once again slighted by the entire Roy lineage. <laughs> Logan wanted to back out of Gojo. And the kids went to Ken's birthday to go talk to the Madsen guy that represented the company, old Skarsgård. Uh, Romulus was able to get in there, kind of seal the deal for at least a tentative meeting. So in doing so, yeah, Shiv feels like poo-poo on her. She went and uh, had some drinks and uh, cut a rug on the dance floor. No prison time needed. There's going to be a number for a settlement. So although Tom is avoiding prison, he's upset because... <laughs> because Greg is not upset. Greg was going through it for a minute, but asked out Kendall's assistant and it possibly out of spite, maybe not. She said yes, but Tom doesn't like it when Greg's happy, apparently. And then Connor is just, you know, we're polling. Uh, he's just existing. Don't take the man's coat. Don't give him their coat. No coats. I think this is going to be a wedding, so we got some foliage for this one. I think it's going to be an outdoor wedding. We're going to go visit Mummy Dearest, and I'm sure this will be a perfectly non-dramatic, non-confrontational, drama-free affair. I'm just curious if Logan will make an appearance for his ex. So here we are with the penultimate episode for season three. <laughs> Everybody's favorite. Oh, no. See, again, no cold open. Uh, everybody's favorite season of Succession, it seems. But we're starting in New York. We're going to have a mission debrief before we head out. Last time we were in that boardroom, I think, man, it was still one of my favorite episodes was Whose Side Are You On? But uh, I think it's the last time that we've all been in that. Logan, that just together. get five. Oh. Oh, boy. Welcome. How's Not Sandy and Stewie. Oh, pretty good. He hopes to make it in person to the next one. Oh, sure. sure. Send him my best. I will. Mm, yeah. But still... You're here, and that's nice. Thanks. What? I feel the same way. Great, we're all over the f***ing moon. What is this? Yeah, so we are in discussions to acquire Gojo. Oh. <laughs> okay. How advanced? Oh, not that advanced, just getting to outline terms. So pretty f***ing advanced. Well, we didn't want to bother you until we had uh, some protein. But mm. we didn't want to ambush you in the boardroom. We wanted to let you know in here. But you okay. are still ambushing no, us. No, no, no. We're not ambushing. Well, no. I mean, if you jump out on someone on the road in the middle of the night, hit him on the head, and shout, I'm not ambushing you, it's still a fucking ambush. I love my business. But we've had our throats slit on ads for 20 years. We're bleeding out. Another five of cord cutting, and we'll be dead on the fucking carpet. This is not OK. We were supposed to be inside deal-making. Well, you know, we we're moving very fast, and it's all very sensitive. But I, I think they're assembling. Right. Shall we? OK, okay. How, how will you feel if Matson starts micro-dosing and tweeting about angels again? Uh, Matson's a visionary. Sure, because he's tripping balls. No, he has a team we can do business with. This is bigger than anything you've ever contemplated. At least props for Logan, like even though he wasn't crazy about Madsen or the deal, whenever he needs to sell something, he can definitely turn on the charm and be charismatic and at least try to sell it, you know? It will reshape the company entirely. Well, if you guys really, really don't like it, sure, kill it. Ooh. Well, we didn't say that. Hmm. So, <laughs> yes. shall we? Okay. Like... Where, where is Shiv on this? Why isn't Shiv here? Oh, because this is just inner circle. That's a joke. I'm kidding. I think uh. the president will be joining us, so. Great. Oh, no, she's just chilling at home. We're just streaming today, huh? Sandy is processing. Stewie loves it. Roman led. No Carl, no Frank. Um, Sandy, what's mm. your take? Dude, Jerry's Shiv is, boots, Shiv is checking out. Sandy's buying it, and I'm just following them now to the boardroom. Are you in the car? No, I'm gonna call in. Damn. Is everything okay, honey? Yeah, oh, just... peachy. I'm feeling the way I was feeling still, so. What about your mom's wedding? I'm not feeling great, so there's nothing really to say. Right. Damn. Right, well, maybe you don't even really need to go. <laughs> to mom's wedding? Oh, yeah. Dad, I'd never hear the end of it. Can you imagine? Well so, the board members not physically available will be joining by phone, including Siobhan Roy, who sends her apologies. She's working on strategy. And Kendall hey. Roy. Hey. 
in Kendall mm -hmm. Roy, who's not attending due to illness. And we're going to lead That's off. Not actually true. And we're going to lead off with an update on the promising developments not a lot in, the, building. in the ongoing investigation. From which portion of the meeting Kendall and Logan Roy are recused? Hence, and then we'll move on to discuss acquisitions. <laughs> he's just. Oh, wait, Kendall's recused, but he's still on the phone. And Logan's just, he's just like a monolith outside there. I'm shocked they got him to leave. I remember last time he wasn't supposed to be in there for the vote of no confidence. And he was like, I'm turning a fucking tanker. I'm, I feel like I'm taking a shit in the Guggenheim, y'all. Could we make a note in the minutes that he's watching us? I actually have taken a shit in the Guggenheim. Or as we called it, a poo-poo in the goo-goo. You haven't got a date? No one on Rye? I want to come to Italy and sit on your ricotta deck? Mm. Fight, so, fight, just to say, fight. I had, uh... Peter Onions rat. Oh, what a lovely wedding present. The guy's a fucking slime badger. Um, three bankruptcies, two marriages, four children, and five shell companies. It's a big investor in shitty nursing homes. I've asked Mum if we can talk to her and talk her out of it. it together. He's marrying into it for her money. Do what? Ask her if she should be doing this. You know, it's like five months since Rory was supposed to move in. Oh, we care now. Whatever. Or we can at least check that she's getting a prenup. You know, there's a lot of shit in there from the divorce, the holding company and everything, and the guy is clearly on the make, so... Fuck it. She's checked out. Fuck it. She's probably in sexual thrall to him. Mm. He's driving her wild with his sugar dick. Nice. So. You can't be surprised, Romulus. Like, uh, Roman can't be too surprised by this. Like, you, regardless if she deserves it or not, or how she's been, you can't, like treat someone like shit one moment and be like hey you're in on this plan that we're gonna do and we're gonna help out the family even though we make fun of you all the time and say you're like not really officially part of this family you think she's just gonna hop on board the there's nothing that we can do uh -huh. all right fine let him kill her for her emeralds and screw us out of the confirm see if i care hey rome about the deal oh um, i was talking to carl and frank yeah no but you're not really a part of that either of you Jesus. Well, I am. Well, I can't quite fire you yet, Shiv, because I'm still a little bit scared of you. But my thinking is when I take <laughs> over, I'm going to put you in the office next to mine and you're going to be my sexy secretary. The fuck is wrong with you? Jesus. I, I feel like Roman does the same thing that Ken does, right? A lot of these kids do is once you get some power and some sway and some control, they all overplay their hands. Like They get hyped up. They get all very egotistical and they start like, you know, just swinging their dicks around the room. This family does have that in common. I don't think the words uh, Roy and like humble really go hand in hand at all. Oh, wow. Man had a breakdown, shaved his head. Okay. I don't know if that was one fueled the other one, but that's an interesting choice. I do wonder what goes through people's minds when they sh when they cut their hair like that, though. I don't like to look personally. <laughs> Hello. Hey, mom. Hello. Welcome all. Goodness me, we've just come back from the front. Yeah. Yeah. Just felt got like enlisted. It. I'm stripping down. <laughs> it's nice. You're all going to be taken up to the house. Mm -hmm. uh, puoi condurla alla casa per facere. Certo, madame. I'll be Grazie. there in a minute, guys. Oh. Italiano, huh? You look rather tired. Oh, thanks. Thanks, you Mom. Word? Right, yes. Um, so, listen, what I wanted to ask you, you'll see when you go up to the house that Peter has printed out this awful sort of itinerary of events. Um, I wondered if we couldn't slightly divvy them up. I kind of like your as shades, in, though. As in, your father would rather not, as I understand it, be together with you uh, as far as possible. Ah, and so what, what, he is showing up then. What is your son getting? And what is your ex-husband, who you hate, getting? Oh, please don't Damn. get on your high horse. It's not me. I don't mind. It's Bridezilla. He's got uh -huh. his heart set on having all the important people at his wedding. He's such a little dog. Well, I don't know if that works. Please, have a think. I'll still see you tons. Sure. Capitulation Peter, station. Oh. come and say hello to Kendall. Oh. <laughs> My boy! Oh my god, this outfit. Kendall like the mint cake. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I do love this actor a lot, by the way. I I, I wish he got more roles than he did. Pleased to meet Does. you. Absolutely. Okay, Mom, I'll check the schedule. Uh, maybe see you next month. Come on, don't be so dramatic. Nice to meet you. It's going to be about four hours, Kendall. <laughs> Those pants are quite a statement, though. I mean, it's fine. It's a fine little sprain number, I suppose. Hey, 
yeah, everybody's in attendance. I'm surprised Logan's coming. I'm sure he wants to show up and like try to like stick a knife in or something or just size up the competition, say, say some catty things, you know, the usual stuff. It's like a mixture of sprain and like some autumnal pieces. Autumnal? Autumnal? I don't know. Oh, Jerry's man. Roman's not gonna like that. Pizza, pasta, and popes. Hey, Connor's all set though. You ever met the Pope, Con? I met one a couple of popes back with dad. Here's a real full fat pope. <laughs> Complete pope. Complete pope. Very religious. Guess you really drank the Kool Aid, huh? Honestly, Willow's kind of like. She's coming more into her own. I don't know if she's like accepting her her position or her current like station in life more, but like I feel like Willa's character is kind of blossoming a bit more. She's speaking her mind more. I mean, she even like stood up for Connor during uh, Ken's birthday and all that. Again, I mean, Connor is kind of her cash cow in more ways than one, but I it's interesting. I just like she seems less subdued this season. Oh, how are the numbers, Con? Just uh, how's the polling? The guy from Politico. Oh, no. Uh, asking regarding his piece, your full name and like your employment history and whatnot. Mm. Right. How are we going to handle think this? He's digging? Might be friendly, mm. but you know. Doubtful. Probably not. What do you think? Yeah, it's probably friendly because journalists are so fucking friendly in my experience. How are we going to approach that, buddy? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Hey. Want the welcome drinks? Sure. Uh, let me just um, check on Laurie, and then you and I can put our heads together on the Gojo mm, price. Okay. It's ticking up, but nothing scary. Laurie, 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 you just will not stop going on about him. I think you're obsessed. It's very breezy in this building. Um, Laurie, we're going to walk down. Can you catch up? Yeah, okay. okay. Cool. Look, I need to talk to you. Boundaries, Roman? I, I need to ask you something. Okay. But of course, he feels on top of the world, right? So he's like, oh, you know, I still, uh, everything's going so swimmingly. We can still do our thing, I'm sure. I need you to stop sending me the um, items. What, dick pics? The uh, which? The dick pics? <laughs> God. Don't want pictures of my dick? No. Okay. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I'm serious, Roman. I'm not so sure. I feel like you do want them. Oh, my you God. Kind of typically minxy. I think this happens when you're under pressure. But you need to find some other outlet, Roman. You need a different concubine, buddy. Look at you trying to get inside my head. Don't open Pandora's box. There's just more dicks in there. <laughs> oh, no. Ah, oh, yes. What a, what a lovely day. Ah, oh, it's my hair if I don't, if I don't do anything to it. <laughs> Just big curly afro. Roman. Hello. Hi. Yes, Hello. darling. Roman, you know Peter. Yep. Oh. Peter, Roman's worried in case I'm throwing myself away. Mm. <laughs> he thinks I'm enthralled to you. All the way around. Oh. Well, how you doing? I'm brash. Very excited about all this. Yeah, yeah, of course. Me too. And uh, how's uh, business? I hear you're big in the old silvery gulags. <laughs> yes, helping to... Uh, Turn around a nursing home group. Yeah. Mm. Very rewarding. Come in, look at the operations, trim the fat. Yeah. Mm. She means the nurses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, never trust a man with a floral tie, I say. What, what? <laughs> She's very rude. I don't know why I put up with it. Ravishing. <laughs> 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 he is awful. I can obviously see that. No, 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 not at all. He's actually just your type. Another in the line of post dad posh English phonies. He's not posh. His father's a doctor, bought all his own furniture. Ooh. He's a grasping little scholarship boy. Well, no. take it easy, to Charm, mother. Sure. That's my stepfather you're talking about. <laughs> He's forcing me into all of this, this Toscana bit. But he is tremendous fun. I mean, look at him fizzing away over there like a bottle of cheap Prosecco. Mm, mm, very cheap. <laughs> Not to mention, that's that man's, like, second outfit. I guess the earlier it was casual, but that's, like, the man's second outfit of the day. I mean, I think that's everybody's... I don't know. I'm sure there's multiple outfits over the course of the day. I'm just going to say, are you... Are you sure? The guy has, like, four kids. He's got a lot more than that, my oh, darling. <laughs> great. That's fantastic. There's a prenup, though, right? Oh, come on. Let me... I, I, feel, I feel like cause she's already kind of, like being candid about the guy maybe she's well aware of his like nefarious business i'm sure she has her own reasons and all that she wouldn't still be as rich as she was and uh, as far along in life as she is if she wasn't like cognizant or aware of people's uh shortcomings or skeletons in their closets you know so unromantic mom just i'm concerned that maybe you're rushing this so what do you expect me to survive on 
macaroni and memorial services. Well, she's doing it for money? It's romance, collect, romance, collect. Uh, yeah, she says she can't live off macaroni and memorial services. Oh. Mm. Wow, poor old Eleanor Rigby wants to eat dick and drink champagne for the rest of her life. Shivona Roy, I am looking respectfully. He said? Yeah, apparently we're meant to hate Peter because he was smart enough to get a scholarship and bought his own furniture. Any no. offers? You brought an assistant really? along, huh? Uh, there's a sit down with like a podcast. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. basically like ex-globe journalists who are doing sort of like a, kind of like the Kennedys, Curse of the Roys deep dive. Uh, they're doing Damn. Connor's mom and uh, your dad and someone named Rose and then the tabloid suicides. There's like a kid who was bullied and was it an accident or did he kill himself? He was the caterer at your sister's wedding, I guess. Do you know about this? Uh-huh, sure. Right, so they're mm -hmm. spreading requests around the whole family. Great. Keep tabs on that one, okay? Okay. Can't imagine why. So unless it's weird, I might f*** off? Yeah, whatever. I, I'm very curious to see, like, because, yeah, his his whole plan is, like, slowly but surely running out of steam. Like, what's what's he going to do? What's his recourse if all this just kind of, like, goes away or fails? Or what if it all comes back to bite him in the ass? I don't know, but... Clock the f*** off. Okay. Oh, is she going to go hang out with old Gregors? Oh, no. Hey, look at that. Hey. Look at that tall drink of water. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. How, how we doing? Okay. Good. Great. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Great. No, come on. Clock Phone out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Go for it. Gotta clock out, girl. Enjoy your time. Dude, all right, Greg. Okay. <laughs> I'm not on board with the whole suing Greenpeace thing, but you know what? Congratulations, I Greg. Yeah. Clenching above your weight. Oh, Comfrey? Yeah, I like her. I like her. I do wonder, is there depth there? Sure. Like, is, I don't know. Is Why are you asking them? Depth? The man dying of <laughs> thirst is suddenly a mineral water critic? Does Comfrey not sate your lust for wisdom, oh, no. Greg? It's such a shame Sontag's not still alive. You can oh, take yeah. her to the drive-thru. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I wonder if... Of all people to ask for relationship advice, you're gonna ask the power couple of the year over here, huh? When she gets to know the quote-unquote real me, uh, will she stick around? Well, I guess either way, if it doesn't work out, she's a great date ladder. Excuse cool. me? As, Damn. As in, well, you know, she's your in. her with you, and no offense, but they'll say, what the f*** is going on there? Why Damn. is he... With her. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm aware of what you're saying. Okay. I still could work for you. Play the date, date ladder game. No. Oh my God. What? What about her? She looks mm, nice. Yeah. Young, impressionable yeah. over here. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Why not? She's pretty. She uh -huh. is very pretty. She's also a princess or a duchess or something. But yeah. sure. Yeah. Why? Why not? Why not? We put a man on the moon. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay. Wow. Poor woman. She probably. <laughs> She thinks she met a fun guy at a wedding. He should Zoinks. be colored red like a dangerous lizard. Oh no, Scary Poppins is on maneuvers. Can you, no, just oh. block me block from you. her. You know, she knows that I'm not in a good place and then it's all house of flying daggers, you know. Sure. How's your marriage going? Is, are you gonna have children? How is your marriage going? That's a very good question. Okay, ha uh ha. -huh. Carolina. Carolina Macau, feeling lucky. Uh, Tom Matson. Is it off the radar and now this? Is it is this a move? It um could be nothing, you know. Fucking social media fireworks. Going yeah. to Macau feeling lucky. Is he is he trying to boost his is price? He just, is he just rocking the boat or trying to blow up the deal? I mean, is he got good subscriber numbers? Maybe he's just in? going to Macau and he's feeling lucky. Oh boy. Hey Lucas, call me. Are you high? I Ooh. think you should put down the venti ayahuasca big gulp. Uh we need to be inside track on these tweets, man, okay? Call me. Mm, I don't no. know, it's like it's his thing. He's a He's a character. There's no way they're gonna wrangle him. They've barely got the idea of the meeting off the ground. Which, if we're if we're far enough in the future, where uh, Greg's seeing the gal, Kendall went and kind of like shaved his head, and I'm sure that meeting probably already happened because like they're already talking about. Oh yeah, this Gojo acquisition is pretty much off the ground. But no, that Skarsgård's character seems very much not a straight shooter. Like <laughs> I don't know why they're surprised by this. You're supposed to be inside this, Ron. I am inside this. Leave it. Hey, nice work, Ron. Hey. Oh. Nuts and going nut nut. Mm hmm. Keep hold of that shit. Ron. All under control, motherfucker. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Where are you off to? Naples? Score some junk? No, it's just our mother throwing me out of her party. Oh, nice. Good. Well, so long. Wonderful. Hey, hey, guys. Where the f 
Look at my kids. What a surprise. Ooh. Ken doesn't know where his kids are. Damn. So look, <laughs> Damn. Um, I've been thinking. Who Ken, knows what'll Ken's happen? Ken's a dead man walking. Maybe I won't ignite. Uh, no, come maybe on. Maybe the two-party system it's not over, isn't as rotten as it looks. But I have to plan for success. So we'll, uh, this is a difficult conversation to have. Are you breaking up with her? Oh, okay. So you okay? Yeah, no, just, no, go on. I'm just... Oh my God, he's gonna drop Willa because the idea of him dating, <laughs> because the idea of it coming out that he's like dating and betrothed to someone who was and is a sex worker or an escort. Oh my God. Any comments on this, Connor? I was interested in politics at a very young age. It's just underground. Me and my apartment in the city, come visit. It's kind of romantic. That doesn't work for me, no. Okay. Maxim had an idea. Ooh. Will you make me the most happiest man? Oh, he's doubling down to make it like legitimate. Oh my God. Slash most bulletproof candidate in the world. <laughs> it's all political stratagem. Okay. Okay. Uh -oh. No, I, no, I mean. <sighs> People are looking well. No pressure. Well, then I'd be pleased to say yes, yes, yes. Can I, can I have a little think on it? If it's okay, I'm smiling now. Like you said, yes. Okay. <laughs> Take your time. Bravo, bravo. That's Will it. and Connor. Wow. So Gojo's oh price God. is moving up. Yeah, I think he put... Yeah, I'm smiling like you said, yes. Okay. Played you, Rome. Mm. SEC is going to be all over this. Ooh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. I think he likes us. I do. I can feel that in my gut. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, another sure. one. What? Emojis, controller, fingers crossed. Eggplant. Maybe he's trying to f a gaming site something. Gaming the oh, gaming this shit. Bad. I oh boy. I think we're good. Oh, yeah, they're just yeah. tweets. If he blows this deal, then who is left for us exactly? They're just tweets. The fucking Pan American Waystar blockbuster. But of course, Shiv is grasping at straws here for any way to discredit Roman and his plan. Your video dial-up corporation. Here he comes. And here she comes. He does not give a single no nope. solitary. Nope. Maybe it's all fine. Maybe they just share a big bed together and they watch Friends reruns and drink milkshakes. Oh. Well, your father made it, it would appear. And you know the story? What? The skunk, the porcupine, and the concubine. Probably the Damn. best wedding present I'll ever get, but so disgusting. Oh, Lord. Is he still f***ing Marsha, do we think? Uh, I think not is the word. I hope not. Poor old fellow probably keel over with the effort. <laughs> So he really, it, <laughs> the face. So he really has moved on then? Like he's just openly with his assistant, I guess? Like arm in arm? Oh, well, I get to go around telling everybody to be very discreet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Shiv, oh. you know about this awful thing later on? Oh, I, we're working on a big deal. And so um, we just got hit by a torpedo and it's oh, not Shiv, a thing. Oh, can... don't be silly. Go have fun with mom. I can manage. It's, she's not even that involved. Yeah. Damn. See you later. Mm. Lovely. You're welcome. Logan, you can. How are you doing? <laughs> Staying ahead of the inland revenue? <laughs> oh, oh, it is, it's Marsha. I thought it, I, I, I didn't look at the scene properly. I thought for some reason he had the assistant on his arm. No, he brought Marsha out. Okay. I mean, okay. We haven't seen her in a minute, but I mean, gotta, gotta keep up, keep up appearances, right? Welcome to Toscana. Oh, glad to be here. Anything I can do, just let me know. You get the chance. I wanted to discreet word with you about uh, an investment you, your opportunity in uh-huh oh. just i like to give something back you know the chance to serve mm. logan mm. Oh. of course yes and what did he want he wants me to get the dip in downing street to make him lord seat sniffer of pantyhose mm. did you read the tweet yep have you spoken uh, I've tried, but... Well, I'm not used to negotiating via eggplant. I'm not sure he wants the deal. Um, okay. As long as he doesn't come here. Uh, no. Hey, hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Hey, Dad. Um, D Ken, he doesn't want to see you. He doesn't want to talk to you. Yeah, okay. well, this is all total horse shit. Deal, shit, Jesus Christ. Let's just have it out, okay? Right here? I want to see you, Dad. I want to see you for dinner, and let's just nail this, okay? Eight. On your own. Yeah? We'll get back to him. We'll get back to you. 
Hmm. Should I go? I don't know. Maybe wear a stab vest. <laughs> I mean, Colin's okay, over here he trailing him. Firm. I know you. You want me to come with you? Oh, f off. I'm not scared. Get me some rooms. I want to get Matson on the phone. Good luck. They traded in the evil, <laughs> the evil uh, SUV convoy for this Mercedes van convoy. Oh, how delightful. Shuttle services to the following appointment. Oh, how d how dreadfully quaint. Oh, so we're separating. We got the bachelor and bachelorette party. Oh, hey. Got that Mamma Mia going on. Shiv, Shiv's got it going on. I'm not going to lie. Like, well, not a lot of these gals do, honestly, but uh, just saying. Charmed, I'm sure. to tear yourself away. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Peter's daughters? They're both in interior design. They're unemployed. Yeah, they offered to take photos. Damn. Maybe they exported my address book. No. Yeah. Bachelorette party. My mother would turn in her grave. Oh. Rome is kind of concerned. You do have a watertight prenup, right? You think he's going to do me in for Granny's fake Rubens? <laughs> You've got a good lawyer, at least. Yeah, sure. I'm actually having to open up the divorce agreement with your father because Peter loves the Eaton Square flat. Has he not got one of his own? He had a bit of bad luck with a salmon smoking business and mm. he lost his place in Pimlico. Hmm, Ooh. interesting. Quite the business brain. But like I Could said, she's hard. she's aware of all this. Oh, I suppose opposites attract. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Have you come to get some attention? Me? Attention from you? Oh, no. That ship sailed long ago. Yeah, I might have been a bit of a spotty mother, but you've been a shitty daughter, so. You weren't a spotty mother. You were just an absence. But I'm fine. I moved back to bloody New York so I could be near you, and I never f***ing saw you. Mom, it's OK. It's fine. You let Dad take us, and it was probably best. We're hashing this out now. Odd time to do it, but from what I mean, from what we can see, especially with the whole way that she's her and Logan definitely aren't perfect parents, and she, even now, like she claims to be high and mighty, but she's very, I mean, especially with the whole, I mean, the the bit where Ken was like, "Can we have a talk?" and she just like left and just avoided the the conversation, kind of sealed the deal, in my opinion, of her, along with what appears to be like the historical accuracy of that that sentiment gave him custody so you could keep your shares and I could protect your interests. You chose. I'll have the carbonara and daddy, please. I didn't Damn. choose anything. You tend to get what you want anyway. And you don't? I don't think I've ever won a single battle in my whole life. Mm. I was 10, Mom. I was a fucking kid. You were 13. Mm. And you knew how to twist the knife. You knew then, and you know now. Fair and point. I might cry. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, where's the onion? Hmm. <laughs> you were quite a piece of work. Gosh, she's getting you it from all ends. You were my onion. You are my onion. She yeah, gets it from mom. She gets it from dad. Onion. Siblings. Well, we could be each other's onions. Truth is, I probably should never have had children. You've made the right decision. Some people just aren't made to be mothers. Hmm. I should have had dogs. No, well, you could have had dogs. No, not with your father. Hmm. He never saw anything he loved that he didn't want to kick it just to see if it would still come back. Very true. That's a very true point. Somebody in the comments in a previous episode did point out the fact that there's this weird battle that Logan has with his kids and his family. He wants them to find the same way that he found without him having to tell them and spell it out for them. So he wants them to be like to killers and ruthless and to be to have the business acumen and to like uh, forge their path forward. But at the same time, he doesn't he wants to be in a position of power constantly and he doesn't want them to to pull the rug out from under him or get too much power, get too far. Come on, you almost got this. No, don't not like this or no, don't rise above your station. And it's like this constant pull and push that there's no true equilibrium or answer to that doesn't still end up with oh well my son and or daughter are good at what they do but let's not forget that i still you know wear the pants in this relationship like it just won't work that's the power play every time okay what's this oh okay so your dad called a bunch and matson won't take the calls matson hates the phone that's nothing i told dad that <sighs> he left me a voice memo the tweets were just around his lawyers have given him the reg fd scares 
He's flying back to a Swiss place. There's clarification coming. Yeah, well, mm. your dad thinks Matson's trying to humiliate him. Dad just needs to write it out. I don't think we need to panic, Jerry. Okay. What do you think about going to see Matson? Yeah, and do sure. what? Does dad want me to? Yes, your dad wants the deal. But you know, they need a translator. Logan needs reassurance before the banker meet. Boy, oh boy. Okay, so you want me to save the deal? Why don't you say so? Piece of cake. Save the deal. Glory. Lead the company into the promised land. Sick. Jerry. It's going to be a great week. <laughs> oh, boy. Now, Matt's is just a, just a quirky character, I feel. But I don't think you're going to really, like, wrangle him. Are Ken and Papa Dragon actually going to have a little sit-down? A little fireside chat? Is Ken actually checking out? That's the big question. Oh, a little midnight hey. rendezvous. I, I thought this was going to be private. I'm across a lot of sh and uh, she's monitoring. Hang out wherever you, you guys can wait inside. They haven't had a sit down since Josh's Island, right? And even then, that wasn't really a sit down. So I hear you were asking all about the menu and my chef. Some things are off the menu for me, health wise. You scared I'm going to try and Jim Jonesy with an olive? Well, I, I think they've brought some food that's good for me. <laughs> yeah, it seems a shame. You know, Marco's great chef, so we checked in with your doc and got the requirements. Mm. So, what is all this? You know, I, I got a lot to do. Goes your price is spiking, and your pal, Matson, he's got a screw loose. Mm. So, I just wanted to talk to you, I suppose. Uh, look, I don't want to get into it all right now, because if it's bullshit, I'll just leave. Can we be civil and not pull our guts out all over the table? I'm getting hungry now. You're gonna eat his food? Where are the kids? They're inside. Iverson! I'd like to say hello. Hey, kiddo. How are you doing? You like mozzarella? I, w I was wondering earlier, like, oh, in, ca in case he's trying to poison father, he's gonna feed it to the kid. That's great. I, I feel like, did they change the actors for the kids? I feel like as they've grown up, they I mean, man, time has gone by. Look at this little lanky strain Bane. He looks a little bit different. Oh, no, I guess it could be the, I wonder if it's the same actor. Voice is starting to drop, though. Not much. Try this. Oh, nice. He's going to feed to the there kid you first. <laughs> well, on the off chance, there's X lax in it or something. Damn. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Off you go. Go on. My poison tester. Who do you think I am? You think I want you dead? Dude, Kendall, I don't oh. even know who you are anymore. Be broken when you die. Mm-hmm. Hmm. How's the boy doing? Is he getting better? He's, he's fine. Getting better? What's happening to him? My thing is, I want out. I think I thought I was a knight on horseback, but yeah. That isn't anything. life's not nice on horseback. It's a number on a piece of paper. It's a fight for a knife in the mud. I don't really know where my life goes from here. I don't know, but I can't do jack. Shit. So here it is. I want to get a premium payout from the holding two bill and a chunky asset. But now that Logan knows he's in a position of power with this, like now that Ken has kind of come, not crawling, but he's basically caving into the proposal here. I think Logan's going to try to like play that hand up even further. Man, what a, what a, this is always the ebb and flow, isn't it? And like, once again, Logan has proved right, unless this is some like lawn power play, but damn, again, Ken is like, screw you. I, I got the power. I'm taking this all the way to the bank. And now he's like, in front of his father, he's like, well, I can't do, I can't do anything. I can't do jack all. Uh, so uh, I'm going to cash out and leave and just live in a hole somewhere. Something you can realize without shareholder input. Maybe, I don't know, outdoor advertising, podcasts. I keep for cred, Jess, and I'm gone. I'm a ghost. Divested. Off the board. Complete disinheritance. Won't even speak at your memorial. We're done. Hmm. No. Is that what Logan I truly need to wants? Think about it. Well, you, you already, you offered at my birthday. So that was uh, for fun. Dad, uh, we can't do this bullshit forever. Maybe I want your clothes. <laughs> yeah, there it you is. Do the mail. Keep you rattling around. I can't. I tried, but I, I thought that I could change things. 
but I'm not as... There's things you're able to do that I can't, maybe. Oh, this makes me feel sick inside. Maybe. You've won. Honestly, he's... Because you're corrupt, and so is the world. Ooh. Well. I'm better than you. Oh, you're, okay. You know, I, I, I hate to say this because I love you, but you're kind of evil. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Well, you're smart, but what you've done is you, you've, you've monetized all the f***ing, the, the American resentments of class and race. And I and thought I was just telling folks the weather. You've turned black bile into silver dollars. Oh, you just noticed, did you? That is, that is true. Logan, I mean, he might like, like, he might paint a picture to the public, but he's never really truly lied about what he has done or the nature of it. He's like, yeah, this is a gritty business. You do what you do. As he so often says, I know how to turn a buck. Uh, maybe I did. Oh, f off. Fine. You know what? I don't give a fuck. Not everyone can live this life. I'm a great revolutionary. Oh. A bit of can spice a bit of fun fun a bit of truth mm. okay truth okay i know things about the world or i wouldn't turn a buck maybe not necessarily it's like his go-to let me out okay no see now he let has the power you know your father he's not gonna i don't want to be you i'm a good guy Damn. How long was that kid alive before he started sucking in water? Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, man. Oh, damn. Cla oh, grade A reversal. I'm a good man. I'm not like you. And he's like, really? A good man, huh? <laughs> like when you were responsible for that kid's death? A couple minutes. Damn. That's Three, true. Four, He's a hundred percent correct right All there. Long time. Two minutes. What were you even doing? Uh, chasing a bit of tail? Trying to get another fix? Hey, are you queer? Did you try to f*** him? <laughs> oh my god. Or was it just the drugs? It's always- it's just the drugs, daddy -o. I'm better than you. Mm. Sure. Sure. You're my son. I did my best. Uh. And whenever you fucked up, I cleaned up your shit. That is true. And I'm a bad person? Fuck off, kiddo. Good night. Mic drop. That's a solid mic right. drop right there. He's not wrong. Look, Logan Roy is not what you would call a good man, but that's a very, very valid point. It's one thing for Kendall to actually have a character arc and actually want to make or implement change or try to, like, not become his father fully. But in his behavior, both in the corporate world, but also in a social and, like, familial sense, he very much takes after his father, has in a few in a few key ways. But yeah, right there, like, Kendall, I'll root for you. If you actually want to be a good person and turn things around, I'll root for you because you're a very rootable kind of, kind of guy when you actually are, like, trying to do the right thing and have moral moments of moral consciousness and come arounds but it's a very good point by logan you can't set you can't stand in your soapbox and talk about being such a good person and how yeah, i'm better than you and all this and it's like mm, no you've also made some very very grievous errors in your life that have led to people getting hurt very seriously like you've you've been your own worst enemy too like logan's like look i know what i am and i'll speak to that and i won't try to gussy it up or lie or obfuscate about my my character and all this i know what i am and who i am but you my son i no you're not you're not a saint either it's an excellent point not that i agree with logan on all fronts but i mean that's yeah <laughs> the pot calling the kettle black tweet seen as indication of gojo's rumored foray into sports betting i guess in that context that does make sense crazy by the way and the news media will take a tweet either extrapolate context or how a tweet can shape the business dealings of the world hey how was your night awful you oh yeah 
Roman implied that Peter might have killed his first wife and then he tried to goad Laurie into talking indelicately about Jerry. Mm -hmm. Oh? Let's have a baby. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh? Yeah. Oh, I see. I'm gonna fucking fight, Tom. Oh, here we go. She's gonna, she's on a crusade now. We're talking to Mommy Dearest wants to inspire you to be a better parent or to be, uh, to be a better mother, rather. Okay. Yeah, you don't just get given these things in a house in the f***ing Hamptons. Right, no. right. You don't just get given the top job or ATN. I'm gonna have to fight for it. Oh, I'm gonna boy. fight Jerry and Roman and Ken, but I can because I'm smarter than them. Yes, you are. Yeah. Yes, you are. You I'm gonna f***ing do it. F*** Dad. He can kick me as many times as he wants. Like 10 or five years. Get rid of Sid. Remake ATN. Yeah. And destroy it. Yes. Raise it to the ground, yeah? Right. I mean, except me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah except you. You know, when Madsen's got Dad spooked? Sure. So I'm gonna have to find him a better deal, a bigger one. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna f***ing nail it, too. What, uh, what about me? And the... What Together. about you? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, t because sure. we can't let the Together. dirty little pixie become king. No. Yeah, blow up Roman, and I'm the only candidate left in the field. And so it turns her on, huh? Let's do anything. Corporate yeah. supremacy. What do you want to do to me? You're so f***ing hot. You're so Just tell, hot. tell me anything. Do anything to me. Oh, boy. Um, you, you... Oh, you no. say anything to me. Dirty talk. Go on. You're not good enough for me. Oh, right. Oh. Whoa. I see. Well, let's mm -hmm. see about that. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. way out of your f***ing league. Oh, you think so? Yeah? Uh-huh. Keep talking. But yeah. that's why you want me. That's why... Maybe. You love me. Fuck you. Oh, are we about to get into... Ooh, I mean, this is... Look, this is my kind of, like, bedroom foreplay for sure. But, like, there's also some tr some truths in there. That's hitting a little bit, too. Even though I don't love you. Uh -huh. uh, are but we... you want me anyway. Are we role-playing, Shiv? Are we role-playing right now? Are we... That's one way to get into it. <laughs> Damn. I mean, look, in the... <laughs> Okay, look, 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 I, uh, in the context of a bedroom, look, I, I'm all for degradation, sure, like, by all means, tell me what a little weasel I am or whatever, but, like, you gotta, there's a trust in there, there's the trust that, like, what happens in the bedroom, what's said in the bedroom, is clearly not indicative of how your actual relationship is and what happens outside the bedroom. That's why it's like role play. It's speaking of personal experience. I always tell my friends, like whenever we're just discuss, whenever it comes up somehow, like the sexual escapades, uh, the way that I put it, hate fucking feels amazing. Don't do it. <laughs> like hate fucking is great. Don't do it. I think it's pretty obvious, like painfully so. Pillow talk aside, that is exactly how Shiv feels about her and Tom's relationship. Season one, at the end of that, getting married, she's like, I, I, I do love you. And I'm sure some part of her does love Tom for certain reasons, but like, it's not an equal relationship. And I've been saying that for many episodes, for seasons now. And yeah, for her, it's very transactional and especially if yeah she's at the point now where she's like put a baby in me so that i can have a kid you know our kid sure on paper but she is obsessed she's getting obsessed with power and moving forward in the company and in life and being on top and being better than her family and people it's gonna it's gonna be her downfall she's just she's she's losing it what wicked webs we weave Countryside's gorgeous, though. Nice place to visit. Don't know about staying too long. Hey. Hey, mm. my betrothed. Out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Will is rethinking her entire sleep life. Sleep well? Uh, no. <laughs> really good walk to sleep. Uh, I'm sorry for waking you to ask, but I'm curious. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How you been about the whole marriage Still thing? Thinking. Still thinking. Still <laughs> thinking. Yeah. Great, great. Decision, real, real life decision. So yeah. Just right. In a way. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. just, yeah, sure. This much thinking could start to get unromantic. Yeah. Oh just Jesus. No. Hey. No pressure. Oh. Hey. Wow. Oh, Greg. Is that good time. Excuse me. Craig is such a man. I, I, did the wherever the wind takes him, this poor soul is so impressionable. Oh, just, just checking the old watch there. What are you, what are you up to today? I don't know. Work. Work? Yeah. Or, uh, okay, because, but, but I, I thought maybe you were part of the, 
the whole the, the titled monarchical uh, <laughs> sort of situation, if, if that's not too too bold to say. No, sh sure, but I do a bit of a I'm an online brand ambassador, a fermented yogurt drink. <laughs> fermented <laughs> yogurt? Mm. Yeah. Well, I've ha I've had that. Hey. Oh. I'm just off to save the world. She'll be back for dinner. Greg, oh. would you please keep Set the Contessa company? Um, but don't look at her. Everyone knows what you're thinking, and it's disgusting. Well, yeah. Sorry about him. Lori, how the hell are you? Um, yeah. Good to see yeah, you. My cousin, a very rude man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gojo prices lurched <laughs> and held. Midweek, their market cap is going to be close to ours. I don't think that Rome can find a landing zone for this. You okay? Yeah, just... Um, you said That's last pretty, night. Pretty spicy pillow talk last night. <laughs> you could say that. Yeah. <laughs> She's yeah. so. You ready? Oh, oh my god. It got pretty. You know when you intimate. You said, <clears throat> say something filthy. Yeah, it was just being horrible for fun and dirty fun. No, it was. <laughs> being it was horrible dirty, for fun. This morning, you know, I feel a little, a little afterburn. You know. Yeah. Just kind of cut, cut to the core. Like, kind of got into the realms of the you don't love me. <laughs> okay, well, what happens in Sex Vegas? Right, right, yeah. No, so you don't love me. Should I maybe listen to the things you say directly in my face when we're at our most intimate? Oh, great. How are you going to oh backpedal? You can't ask someone to say terrible things and then get all... That's a bit manipulative. Oh, my God. Shivroy, Gaslight, Gatekeep, wannabe girl boss. That's great. Right. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, did you mean oh. it about the baby? Yes. Yeah, I... So, so that was serious. Yeah, I think so. But the rest of it, no. So One we're now, now we're cherry picking, huh? Yeah, we should freeze at least. Yeah. Yeah. We should plan for our corporate put futures. Put it together and then see where we are. Sure. When do you think that might be? It's important that the the the, the host chamber is willing. Oh. Well, they keep them for ten years, and then you know you can do what. You want, but it's different if one of us dies or is in a long-term coma. And no, it's, that's what it's true. You d you decide beforehand what you would want to happen. And oh, so the ideal plan is to what get some eggs frozen and then <laughs> not knock out Tom and go have your own kid or whatever, single mom. You know, I don't just automatically get them if we divorce or something like that. If that's the thing that concerns you. Why'd no, your mind just, jump I, to that? I wouldn't what? have necessarily thought what are we, about all of that. Yeah, yeah. What are we talking about right now? Uh, well, I just think it's smart to bank some embryos, huh. and then you know we can see where we are. So we could be looking at like ten years. We're why like Shiv's playing this relationship like it's a corporate stratagem right now. Although I figure she kind of always like low key has been. That's oh, wow. that's like ten years. It's like two and a half Olympics. It'll get clearer. I just think it's a good option. And then if something happens or you know you change your Lord. mind, they destroy them. It doesn't bind you. I would want you to have my babies if I died. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and if you died? Would I want, um... Mm, interesting. Yeah. I sure, so. sure, sure, yeah, yeah. Can I think about it? Sure. Oh my god. I may not love you, but I do love you. You know. Huh? I know. I do know. I do know. Baby, Baby popsicles. Uh-huh. <laughs> the plan. I was joking. I just snapped. Maybe popsicles and whoops, something happened to Tom. Well, I guess I'll get, I'll have our kids. <laughs> I can't with these people. Oh, God, I can't with these people. Oh, he's going to see Madsen. I see. That's right. Jesus, all this, again, all this pomp and circumstance for a damage control meeting. Ooh. You want me to hold your hand? Come here. Hey. Just to have a little look, just, just hop. Piss off. <laughs> oh, no. All right, buddy, come on, Skarsgård, what are you doing? Amazing place. Assholes yeah. wearing up joggers. No? I don't, I don't know. When I got it, I wanted everything to be absolutely perfect. Now I'm sleeping on a camping mat on the floor until I get a deep dive on the best mattress in the world. Ooh. It's great. It's great. Um, yeah. I'm just not feeling great. About what? The deal? Maybe let's leave the little feely feelings out of it, because uh, I'm going to give you nothing. All right. Nothing. Dude, just come out with it. Hey, What's up? What are you worse at? Uh, me? 
Yeah. Worse? Intimacy? Success doesn't really interest me anymore. It's too easy. Uh-huh. Like analysis plus capital plus execution. It's, anyone can do that. But failure... I've become bored oh, of life. That's a secret. Just as much failure as possible, as fast as possible. Burn that out. Mm-hmm. Well, I... That's interesting. I'm not... Sure. ...telling you a single one of my weaknesses ever. Ever, ever, ever. Ever, That's smart. What? I know. I'm smart. So I ream people. Juice them like oranges. No, but seriously, I... I get way too into people, and, and then they disappoint me. Uh... I'm thinking of doing like a quarterly up or out at the company. Oh yeah. Yeah. Firing people is like eight. It's weird because they're, they're, right now their mannerisms and their physical like how they're holding themselves are, are kind of like they're similar. They're miming each other. I'm also sensing some tension here. I don't know what kind of can't get a pulse or read on the. Let's let it play out. Eighty-five percent of why I get up in the morning. Do want to ask you about that tweet? Oh. The... <laughs> That yeah, one? Seriously, well, yes. You got like big sh coming your way, dude. Are you uh, are you asking me for material, non-public information? I mean, I don't know. Were you trying to give your share price a pop by tweeting unverifiable information outside normal disclosure channels? <laughs> no, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yep. mean. The thing I need to know, Swinks, is, do you want this deal? Are you into it at all? Yeah. I am. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm just uh, a little Swedish, you know? I'm uh, into equality. Okay. <laughs> I like getting into bed with people. Neutrality. But I also like sharing it equally. I'm heading to Milan to lock things down with Dad and the bankers, and the tweet just didn't feel great. And if you're hoping to just blow this whole thing up, just tell me, okay? I just want to get myself the best of everything. So Definitely. what do you need from us? What do you want? What do you What do you want from us? So like the like basically like an offset of insider trading. So what is he just for funsies? He's like, well, if I can boost the numbers before the acquisition, I can't get a read on Madsen's character, man. Like power and chaos, or maybe he's tired of the power and success. Why do I feel like this is all gonna like fall apart at the end here? I don't like normally the music's great by the way. Normally Roman is like he even said in the last episode is like his character can usually get a good read on people, but I think even him he's like trying to like the radar is just not. <laughs> picking up the so so i think it's over what huh? yeah i don't think madsen's interested in getting acquired i think he's angling for a merger of equals okay mm. <laughs> well so okay so right are you sure well i mean I'm okay well pile on the pressure Rome. Uh, he, he did the same thing at the end of season two, right? When it's like the big acquisition was going to happen. And he was like, honestly, dad, I don't buy it. You know, I take it back. Yeah. R like Roman actually got a decent read of that. It was very non-committal in terms of the acquisition. And he's like, yeah, I'm interested in more of a merger. So Roman, in terms of deals, it makes sense. If we don't beef up soon, I think we end up someone's lunch. Well, thanks, dear. I'm already so stressed. I'm jerking dust. Hmm. You want to tell them together? I'm not really inside the details. Coward. Okay. Sure. Sure. Well, it was nice knowing you then. Just among friends, I want to get a sense of what's going on. Is he a Twitter panty flasher, or is he a serious person? Uh, well, he is a serious person. You're certain? Yes. How are you going to spin and sell this, serious. row row? But, Dad, he, um, he thinks there's value that hasn't been priced in yet. Matson's gunning for a merger of equals, so I guess, you know, that probably... Uh, merger of equals? Yeah, like, he's got 12 of the prime Asian sports leagues signed up for Gojo, and he's gonna fold it all into the platform. Live sports, games, betting, it's a f***ing growth bomb. Okay, but uh, full 50-50 board, all stock, dad, what, splits control? Yes, Siobhan. Well, I, I don't... I don't... Tank dad? What do you want to bet? But the guy isn't a f head. No. No, the, the tweeting was a move. He's not some big baby who shits for clicks. No, 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 no. No, I see Logan's gonna understand and read that because this, oh, this is where the dynamic, oh, I hate on brains braining right now. So the tweets, you know, it can, sometimes people are just like corporate 
screw ups who have petulant tweets that can kind of just mess with the flow of everything but logan knowing what little he has but having the influence of his son who is younger and kind of has a pulse on all of that great face by the way uh, he's now deferring to his judgment because he did get Matson to come to the table. He did event. He, at first, he set up this as an acquisition, but the fact that this guy was like, "No, I did this online, as a, I used the, the platform as a resource to boost my numbers and help with growth." And he is smart enough to value his company and still growing and building, and doesn't want to be acquired, but instead wants to fold in. Mutually beneficial. And now that Logan has more of a read on what the tweets were about, I feel like Logan would respect a move like that. He's like, yeah, that's something I would do too. Promote my growth, work with another company, you know, no equals. Sure. But eh. no, no, he's uh, he's on the snake. You know, I know people Dad. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a people sniffer because I can win any bout with a boxer, but I don't know how to knock out a clown. He's not a clown. He's a mother. That's what you would have done, right? He just maximizes leverage. Yeah, but merger of equals, like... Yeah. No such thing. Always a top dog, right? Sure. And, I mean, he wants hmm. the label, but I think we could still be the puppy f***ers here. Uh, the family steak will be seriously diluted. Mm. I think he'd let us craft it so that we keep balance of the board. I think he just wants the freedom and the status. Gojo, Royco, I mean, who gives a f***? Let him have the logo, we take the wheel. Yeah, I mean, it would be real scale. It's a legitimate way of staying relevant. Big upheaval. Yeah, I mean, the top team, you'll obviously be fighting for your lives. But I'm sure you can trust dad, guys. Obviously. Hmm. Merger is really a state of mind, right? Dad, Jerry, you stay with your hands on the tiller. I mean, their, their price rise, it's real. It's a proper f***ing streamer. And the future is movies, TV, music, games, sports, esports, VR, AR, betting everything mm -hmm. for everyone good sell and knows how to get there good sell it's a lot but okay. he, he's not wrong we can't afford to walk away right now must be worth a conversation son uh-huh bring him in let's get the banker f in here on this okay okay okay, okay. <laughs> his his screensaver is him flipping off his sister right this way sends dick pic Chairman of ATN News. Hi. Hi. Shiv Roy, President of Domestic Operations. Glad to be here. Sit wherever you're comfortable. Oh my God! Send it to Dad. <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. I need five. Wow, it was a misinput. It was a misinput. It was a misinput. Misinput. Calm down. You calm the f down. Um, yeah, that's his dick. He sent you a picture of his dick by mistake. Well, it's pretty obvious. Yeah, he meant to send it to Jerry. Uh oh. I don't get it. Uh, well, he honestly, he's uh, he's, he's weird about Jerry. Everyone knows it, and. And frankly, I think it's f***ing disgusting. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Jerry is probably just not stopping it for leverage. You know, banking it. Yep, this is... Ooh, oh, Shiv's gonna play this pretty well. All right, props to Shiv for stepping up and... Mm, that's not great. Oh, dude, this is exactly why you don't mix business and pleasure, though. One misinput. That's why you don't do that type of stuff at work. Gotta have that separation, man. Only once in my life have I ever accidentally sent a lewd text to the wrong person. And <laughs> ooh, I barely skirted by, like with the, oh, uh, whoopsie doopsie. But of course he wears Calvin Klein. Isn't he just Roman being Roman? Yes. Uh, no. Oh, shit, no, I mean, you devious dog. No, I think it's a potential problem. There's issues, oh, you know? Everyone says they used to get jerked off by his personal trainer, and now there's this Jerry thing. It's a, it's a track record, you know? So Great. I think, you know, moving forward. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Pinky. Uh, go on. Okay. Roman! Jesus. Oh, no. Hey, Dad. Good work for you. Thanks. Sorry about that. Oh, my God, he's furious. You're sicko. What is this? 
Jesus. Why do you send them? It's just, you know, it's like, here's my dick. Oh, what? Like, uh, fuck you? People just send each other pics of their dicks. People send each other pics of their dicks. Yeah, have you heard of dick pics, Dad? Well, we do publish a number of popular newspapers, so yes, <laughs> son. Uh, we probably invented the fucking words. <laughs> oh, no. But why? Roman, you were doing so well. Why? Why? I don't know. It's just like, here's my dick, I guess. Is he gonna... Is he just... Why would you not come forward about the the Jerry thing? Just say it was meant to be. I mean, it's not appropriate, but like, the last thing you want to do is double down and say I meant to send you a pic of my dick. Oh my fucking! Oh my god! You got a problem? What happened to that nice piece of telly over there? Uh, Tabitha? Yeah, she's amazing. We're having some issues. What interests you and Jerry exactly? Jesus, Dad, I'm fucking, I'm screwing around. I don't like things going on I don't know about. She's a million years old. Huh. It's fucking disgusting. You're a laughing stock. Oh, Damn. Oh, go on. Fuck off. Damn. Um, so, like, what happens now? I don't want to hang around like frozen fucking piss. Jerry? Uh, I'm not a radical feminist, Dad, but I think perhaps we should not fire her for receiving pictures of my dick. That'd be, that's brutal. Poor Jerry. Sorry about all this, Jerry. It's just something I want to get, you know, really clear about what's going on. You know? Oh, boy. And most importantly, to see Are they really? Uh-huh. It's it's not a big deal. Yeah, I just want to get things clear to, for my dad, you know? God, this must be so hard for you. It's fine. Uh, what, Shiv is so HR this or now? Like this happened before? I can't recall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if it did, uh, did you ask him to stop? Let's talk about this uh, tomorrow, okay? Uh, I just need to check in with some people. Okay. Well, sure. Yeah, I like mean, my lawyers. <laughs> Not as if you're welcoming these uh, items, <laughs> were you, Jerry? Don't sure. incriminate yourself now. Okay, it's just something for your well-being. We need to get really clear about because. Yeah. Why? W with all this potential upheaval and you being in such a delicate position as interim uh, CEO, if you can't deal with your own sexual harassment, I mean, it's not a good look. Wow. I can cope. So do you want to make a formal complaint against him regarding this? Well, that's for me to decide. Mm -hmm. I just think, Jerry, that you should report him to HR. Because if you don't, it could be argued that you welcomed these photos. Oh, my God, Shiv, you... Oh. It's just, that's my concern for you here. Sickening. Here we go. I wonder if we shouldn't just kick this all the way up to the board. Woman against woman is what it's come down to. Well, thank you for giving us so much thought. And uh, I'll think it over, okay? Oh, Shiv is quickly becoming the villain of season three. That's right, it's right. It's Roman's own fault. Sunk his own ship there. I mean, Ken's just hanging out, huh? Ken's just chilling. My man is just spiraling in his head. Hey, Dad. I oh. think I'm gonna head inside with Soph. Okay, buddy. Damn. What a shame. Honestly, with all these kids, that's kind of the 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 overall diagnosis for me is just like what a, what a shame and it's gonna pass out into the pool is he gonna drown himself is he i can't tell if his face is in the water oh i did i think he is in the water is, is he am i going am i going crazy was he drowning like what like what was what was that i thought i saw little bubbles in the water I mean, he was conscious a second ago. You know what? I never look at the what's coming up, but it's the finale, so I gotta le I gotta see a little preview before we end it. I don't want to be rude because you're a legend. Uh, we're flying like a rocket ship, and you're sinking like a lead balloon. Oh this boy! This is a family thing. I get it. Business-wise, it's time for you to beef up or sell out. You're hurt. You're tired. All will be revealed. Will be oh, we're still at the wedding, huh? It's funny how and then this will be the second season to end on like to end in the middle of a wedding. It's crazy. Everything this family is so good at self-destructing, which then dominoes and affects one another. Everything was going so smoothly. Roman had sunk the deal, and then he ah oh, damn. Of course, a pick of his shalon is what up uh, up ends the whole thing. Any any respect, any damn, any respect, trust anything that he's been working so hard to build up with his father. 
gone like that. And you know what? Just like Ken, just like Shiv, just like Greg, just like any of any of these people, it's his own fault. If he had just left Jerry the hell alone and just kept it professional and stopped, you know, with the like I get I get why his head's in that space and I get why he does what he does, but does not excuse it. Sunk his own battleship right there, all of that gone, his father, any respect just out the window. <laughs> and now poor jerry she has been like discouraging it but now she's in that position and now that could just explode into something bigger and depends on where it goes and of course shiv who wants power is going to try to steer the situation and the conversation and use that to her advantage well it's all going to come to a head isn't it uh next will be the season finale for three holy shit. <laughs> It's funny how many times people look at like look Logan in the eye and will be like, "Oh, you know, you're going down. You're you're gonna be nothing. This company is bloated. It's in trouble." And so many times they keep saying, "Oh, we're in trouble. This is in trouble." But they keep on like powering through and they're still existing and trucking on forward. I mean, again, to Logan's credit, when he's like, oh, "The climate said I was down. I guess I'm a climate denier." Like he's got a point there. That's the crazy thing about Logan. Knows how to turn a buck and somehow miraculously he always still has a point at the end of the day. Like he's not entirely wrong what a mess what a mess and ken <laughs> keep the discourse coming comment below with comments thoughts <laughs> feel free to throw in the uh, preferred show of choice into the rain i'm tallying them all up next season once that starts up i'll be going through and whatever gets the most votes will be what i watch next and what a journey what a ride thank you guys and gals so much for watching stay tuned for the next episode the season three finale and the uh the wedding for just another another uh roy affair i suppose <laughs> goodbye travelers